Hey y'all, it's Mike and today I'm talking about how to find toys made in the USA. Toys obviously span a wide range of ages and types, so today I'm going to do my best to cover every major category so that you can find a toy for your little one that fits their age and the types of toys that they like to play with. Did you know that over 90% of toys that are sold in the US today are made in China? That number was less than 50% in 1992. It's ridiculous and it really highlights that we just have to do our research. So today I'm going to talk about how to spot toys that are made in the USA, our top picks for American made toys, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be uncovering where some of the biggest brands and toys are actually made. We've also written about this exact same topic, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews Toys, and you should be able to find us there. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, make sure to like and subscribe, and head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you're gonna find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. Alrighty, let's get into today's video on how to find toys made in the USA. All right, we're going to go category by category, covering our tips for material sourcing, as well as our top picks in each category. If I miss any of your favorites, I don't have time to cover every single American toy manufacturer in this video. Make sure to leave a comment below. And for more general tips on Made in the USA labeling, labeling and shopping American Made, make sure to check out the full video that I have on that topic, which I will link in the cards above, as well as the description below the video. So without further ado, let's kick it off with baby toys. So raw materials and sourcing are super important here because obviously your babies are probably putting these toys in their mouths and just have generally no sense of personal hygiene. Some popular materials used in toys like teething rings are silicone and rubber. Nowadays, all toys, whether they're manufactured here or imported that are intended for use for kids 12 years of age or younger, actually have to be certified with a children's product certificate as well as pass the federal toy safety standard. But if you look at recall data, imported toys are consistently recalled more than domestically made toys and for some for some serious issues like using lead paint as an example. So, buying local often means buying safer in many instances. Alright, getting into our top picks for baby toys, I want to start with Begin Again Teethers. These are super safe for your baby to chew on. They're made from a cornstarch rubber on the outside and main rock maple on the inside. It's super eco-friendly and free of any harmful chemicals, plastics, or other substances, so you won't have to worry about your kid chewing on it. Now, not everything from Begin Again is made in the USA, but these teethers are. Next up is Green Toys. Green Toys makes 100% recyclable toys all right here in the USA. They're super eco-friendly with everything from the plastic that they use to the ink that they put on their boxes, so everything is really safe for your kids. They have some great teethers and smaller toys that are great for younger kids. All right, let's move on to stuffed animals. Obviously, it's really important to consider the main outside material of the stuffed animal, but also the fill and stitching quality. When it comes to our top picks, there's a couple of great brands that we wanted to mention here. First up is Bears for Humanity. These guys have a pretty cool story. They hand stitch all of the stuffed animals that they make with organic and eco-friendly materials, and for every single stuffed bear purchased, they donate one to a kid in need. Bears for Humanity also employs at-risk mothers in their facility to keep them in jobs and providing for their families, which is a great cause to support. And next up here is Trouble the Dog. Trouble the Dog is headquartered in Marblehead, Massachusetts, and the name is a dead giveaway. They make a stuffed animal named Trouble the Dog that is a hit with all the little kids. Trouble even has his own book series, and the team behind it does a ton of good work in the community, whether it's foster care, dog shelters, and a bunch of other causes, so they're definitely worth a look. All right, now let's move on to plastic toys. This is obviously a huge category, and actually where a big contingent of overseas manufacturing does the bulk of its toy volume. Plastic toys are most of the time just injection molded items, which are obviously cheap to outsource, but you're gonna get lower quality product at the end of the day. And like I mentioned previously, those products are more likely to be recalled if they're imported. 
But there are still some companies that are doing plastic toys really well in the US. First up and back again is Green Toys. They make a wide variety of toys and obviously a lot of plastic options. Eco-friendly, like I mentioned, check out their bathtub sets, teacup sets, and some of their toy trucks as some really popular options. Next up is American Plastic Toys. American Plastic Toys is a staple in the toy industry. They've been making toys right here in the US for over 60 years. All their plastic and colorant is purchased domestically, and they primarily do most of their manufacturing in Michigan and Mississippi. It's worth calling out that they do have some tiny parts that are imported, like the sound components and some of their talking plastic toys, but it is a pretty negligible portion of their overall product, less than 4%. All of their toys are safety tested by an independent third-party testing facility, and they have a lot of categories that I won't even begin to try and name all of them because it's a lot. So just go ahead and make sure to check them out for yourself at AmericanPlasticToys.com. And the last brand I want to mention is Slinky. Now I know Slinky isn't technically a plastic toy. The classic models are made from metal, but did want to give this absolute classic a shout out. They are still made in the USA today. Now let's move on to some arts and crafts toys. These are toys like moldable dough, easels to draw on, and things like that. In terms of top picks here, the first brand that I want to cover is Land of Dough. Land of Dough is a great Play-Doh alternative. They're made from a ton of natural, eco-friendly ingredients and have a ton of different options that your kids will love. They're based in Norristown, Pennsylvania and are actually owned by Crazy Aarons, which may sound familiar. They also make Thinking Putty, which is manufactured here as well. Next up here is Wiki Sticks. Wiki sticks are little creation kits that are mainly containing yarn and wax, but aren't really sticky at all. So you don't have to worry about messy glue or tape or anything like that. Everything's super pliable and you can pretty much create whatever you want with these kits. They're based in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you need some at-home crafting kits or something for the classroom, definitely check out Wikisticks. And if you're looking for some easels and stuff, step two is a decent option here. They make some products in the US, but they do have some products and materials that are sourced from China and other countries. They are pretty transparent in their product details on their website about where each product is from. So just make sure to do your research if you're interested in that brand. All right, now let's move on to puzzles and blocks. These are typically your tree-based products, either made of solid blocks of wood or stuff like cardboard or paperboard in the cases of puzzles. In terms of top picks, first up is Becca Blocks. Remember those basic wooden blocks that came in a bunch of different shapes that you can make awesome castles and houses and other creations with? That's Becca Blocks. These folks have been around for over 45 years. They're an absolute classic and they really haven't changed all that much over the years. Still a lot of fun for kids. Green Toys, also want to mention them again. They have some really good block sets. And then when it comes to puzzles, I like a couple of brands in particular. First up is Liberty Puzzles. Liberty Puzzles are exclusively made in Boulder, Colorado and make a lot of fun and challenging jigsaw puzzles. They have a ton of options to choose from and they also make a lot of custom puzzles. And the last brand I'll mention in this category is Springbok Puzzles. Springbok Puzzles is an American classic. They've been making puzzles in the US since 1963. All their puzzles are made in the US with the exception of their mini puzzles as well as their premium wooden puzzles, which are made overseas. All right, now let's move to outdoor toys. Now getting into our top picks here, first up is Wiffle Ball. Wiffle Ball is a classic backyard game that still has a huge community today. They're based in Sheldon, Connecticut, and are still producing their iconic plastic bats and balls, all right here in the USA. American Plastic Toys and Green Toys are two other brands that are making some good outdoor toys as well, so check them out. And then the last brand that I'll mention in this category is Amish Toy Box. They have a great selection of handmade lawn games, wagons, and other outdoor toys. All right, now let's get into some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. First up is Little Tykes made in the USA. And the answer is yes, some Little Tykes toys and play sets are made in the USA. You can check out their Made in the USA page on their website for a full list of those products. Next are Mattel toys and games made in the USA. And the answer is no, Mattel closed its last factory in the US in 2002. About 75% of Mattel's toys and games are now made in China, and they also have big manufacturing footprints in countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, and Mexico. Next are Hasbro toys and games made in the USA. 
No, sadly, pretty much all Hasbro toys and games are made overseas these days. As of 2019, 67% of their toys and games are made in China, and while they are trying to reduce their dependency on China, it doesn't really get much better because they're looking to countries like India and Vietnam to pick up that manufacturing slot. Next is Play-Doh made in the USA. So Play-Doh is a part of Hasbro and unfortunately shipped all of their manufacturing in 2004 to other countries like China and Turkey. However, they have shifted some of their manufacturing back to the US in 2017 and 2018, partnering with a manufacturing partner in East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. However, the materials used in Play-Doh are still sourced overseas. Next are PlaySchool toys made in the USA. So PlaySchool is another subsidiary of Hasbro, which bought them in 1984. So they pretty much share the exact same international manufacturing footprint. And lastly, are Fisher-Price toys made in the USA. Similarly, Fisher-Price got bought by Mattel in 1993, so they share their international manufacturing footprint as well. All right, that's it for this video on how to find toys made in the USA. If you have any questions, drop a comment below or shoot us a message. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.